Namaste and welcome everybody to our children's yoga teachers training and um, sending love and peace to the world. And hi to all the enlightened super souls. Say hi to everybody. Hi. Welcome. Okay, our lesson today is on the base chakra. Do you all remember what our chakras are? Yes. You do? Yes. The chakras are home, the home where certain feelings live in our body. Okay? And if we have, if they are a little bit sad, then we can do special things to make them happy again. We can exercise, stretch, to stretch out any sadness. We can also do long deep breathing, taking in extra vital energy through our breath that makes our thoughts and feelings happy. And we can also use vibration. Do you remember what vibration is? It is energy. It is life. Everything has got vibration. Everything, because everything has got life. So even if it's a rock and it's sitting still, it still has life. So that is why we are kind and love everything and every being, because everything has life. And some things have higher vibration than others. And that helps if we wear it, or if we imagine it, or if we eat food and fruits in that color, it helps to feed our thoughts and feelings through the vibration, the energy of the color, or the crystal, or the sound that we sing. So we're going to sing all our happy songs and put everything together to make us feel happy. The base chakra is the home of the feelings of survival, that you can survive anything and get through anything through using your beautiful mind and beautiful words and thoughts and feelings. It is also about stability, feeling that you're stable, okay? And it's also about feeling secure in the big wide world. We all want to feel like survivors, don't we? Like we're stable, like we're secure in the big wide world. It's also about feeling grounded. That means that we belong in the world. We love being in the world. All of us and everybody belongs in the world. So today we're going to work with the base chakra and we're going to start off with our song. So we're going to start off with singing our song for thankfulness, thanks to our body. That's going to make our body feel happy. That will also make our base chakra feel happy and make us feel like we are safe and secure in the world. So let's sing our song, Thanks to My Body.
could see where your chakras are, they sit along your spine and you can see the bottom one is the color red. And that is our base chakra and that's the one that we're going to be working with today that makes us feel like we can survive anything in the world. That we're stable, secure, that we're grounded, we belong in the world. Every single one of us belong in the planet. And it makes us be able to feel so happy and safe in the world. Do you like that picture of your chakras? The home where all your different feelings live. And today we're working with stability. We're survivors. And we're safe and secure in the big wide world. Are you ready to start with our exercises? Yes. Come on then. So let's start off with calming and stilling our mind, relaxing our body completely, bringing harmony and peace to our thoughts, our feelings and our bodies. So let's come sitting in easy posture, one foot touching the body and the other heel in front of the first one. Put your hands into Gyan Mudra, tips of your first fingers touching the tips of your thumbs and put your hands gently onto your knees. Lift your spine tall and straight. Remember to tuck your chin towards your chest like you're holding that little book and you don't want to drop it. And just take a moment to feel your body. Without touch, feel that gentle tingling sensation around your body. That's your aura, your invisible body where your thoughts and feelings live. So let's start off with relaxing our physical body, our visible body. Feel your head and just relax all the muscles in your head. And now in your neck and throat, into your shoulders, relax your shoulders. Let them lower down towards the ground. Relax your arms, your hands, your fingers and thumbs. And from your shoulders to your hips, relax your tummy. Feel all tightness just melting away. Down your legs, into your ankles, your feet and toes. And feel your body so relaxed and happy. And now we're going to feed our thoughts and feelings to take away any tightness, any worries and cares. So take a deep breath in and feel yourself being filled with so much love. And breathe out, let go of all worries, all cares, just let them float away. Take another deep breath in and feel your mind, your thoughts, feelings becoming calm and peaceful. Breathe out and one more deep breath in and breathe out. Feel how calm and peaceful your thoughts, your feelings and your body feel. And just give thanks for this beautiful feeling. Let's bring our hands into the prayer position and greet each other with that beautiful word, Namaste. I honour the divine in you and the peace and love which is within me too. So our first posture that we're going to do today for our base chakra right at the bottom of the spine where our feelings of survival, stable, secure, feeling safe in the world, live. And we're going to stretch that part of the body so that if there's any tight feelings of being scared or unstable, they all just melt away through stretch. So let's bring the hands onto the mat, uncross our legs and come up onto the all fours. And the first position that we go into for this to help us feel stable, secure, and survive the life survivors in the world, is we push our heels onto our buttocks, onto our heels, and we slide our hands forward and bring our forehead to the ground. And we're going to take deep breaths in and out of this posture. Feel your thoughts and feelings becoming still, calm, and peaceful. And just feel 
the earth holding you, making you feel safe and stable, making you feel like you belong in this world, that you're secure, that you can survive anything. Feel the earth holding you, feel safe and secure in a big wide world. And I know somebody with a Zulu name that means survivor, that is Jeannie. Her name is Polisiwe, her other name, her Zulu name. And Polisiwe means survivor. Do you all feel like survivors? Yes. yes. Take one more deep breath in and breathe out. The next posture that stretches the bottom of our spine is the friendly striking cobra. So let's draw our nose along the mat, nice and slowly, and come up into our friendly striking cobra. And lower your buttocks back onto your heels, coming back into our safe, secure child posture. And we're going to drag the nose along the ground again and raise into our friendly striking cobra. We're going to breathe out and take our buttocks back onto our heels. And we're going to do our striking cobra one more time, deep breath in. And this time we're going to hold in the striking cobra. Look up towards the heavens, shoulders back, chest forward. And just feel the bottom of your spine. Can you feel that lovely stretch? Can you feel any fears, any worries just melting away? Feel them being stretched away. And breathe out. Bring your buttocks back to your heels. And just take deep breaths in and out. Feel how safe you feel, how secure you feel, and like a real survivor, please do it. And our very next posture, we're gonna come up onto our hands and knees. And we're going to come all the way up onto the knees. We're gonna tuck our toes in, Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to go into half camel. Do you remember half camel? We're going to breathe in and raise our arms parallel to the ground. And we're going to breathe out, take the right hand onto the right heel and raise the left arm up towards the ceiling. And you're going to hold there with long deep breathing while I come and have a look. That's wonderful, but wait, just bring your arm a little bit closer down. That's it. Beautiful, peaceful. Look up towards your fingers. And slowly the run there. Look up towards your fingers. Jean, you always make a beautiful half camel. And you, Bill, how lovely. Look up towards your fingers. Here we go, Mummy. Keep there we go. Look to your fingers. See there. Well done, one Bile. And another. There you are. Look at your fingers. See your fingers. That's beautiful, precious. Well done, those are beautiful half camels. Can you feel that stretch in your lower back? That's just letting all the worries melt away. Let's breathe in, bring the arms parallel to the ground. And now we do on one side, we do on the other. So let's breathe out and take the left hand to the left heel. Raise the right arm up, look up towards the fingers and take deep breaths in and out. Look at your middle finger, keep your focus there. Watching that and keeping your focus on there helps you to focus in school, gives you good concentration. At the same time, just feel the bottom of your spine and any tightness just melting away. Well done, take a deep breath in, raise your arms back up parallel to the ground and breathe out, drop the hands next to the body. Keep your toes tucked in, because now we're going to go into full camel. Back tall and straight, shoulders back. We're going to breathe in, raise the arms parallel to the ground. We're going to breathe out and take our hands onto the back for support. 
Push gently so that your hips stay forward and arch back as far as you can. And if you're comfortable, take your right hand onto the right heel, left hand onto the left heel, and just hold with long, deep breathing. Wow, those are beautiful camels. Keep your hips forward, and if it feels a little bit tired at any time, just let go and, and fold into child posture. What beautiful camels you are. Wow. Those are beautiful camels. Breathe in, raise your arms back up to the centre, and breathe out, lower your hands down to the ground. Lock your, your buttocks onto your heels, breathe in, raise the arms above the head, switch up, touch the sky, and breathe out into a forward fold, bringing your hands to the mat. And just take a deep breath in and out, and bring your feeling to the bottom of your spine. And again, just feel. Does it feel happy? Do you feel safe? Secure? Do you feel like a survivor? Well done. So let's come up onto the all fours, cross the legs, come back into easy posture and lengthen the legs on the mat into the face position. We're going to put our hands on either side of the body, make sure your shoulders are in line with your wrists so we can get into this wonderful posture. We're going to take a deep breath in and come into tabletop. We're going to breathe out and lower the buttocks back to the mat. We're going to breathe in and lift up into tabletop. We're going to breathe out and lower down again. And one more time, deep breath in, lift up. Wow, what beautiful tables you are. And breathing out as you lower down. Well done. Take a deep breath in, raise the arms above the head, and breathe out as you forward bend. Take the nose to the knees. And just feel the stretch in your lower spine. All fears just melting away, feeling stable and secure. Well done. So our next posture to feel safe and stable in the big butt wide world, we're going to bring our feet towards our body, turn the sole of the feet upward, and we're going to lift up onto our feet. Just like a bushman. You know the bushman when they sit around the fire at night to keep warm and to tell stories. So we're going to take our elbows, put them on the inside of our knees, and we're going to push with our elbows to open up our knees and bring our hands into the prayer position. And we're taking beautiful deep breaths in and out. Deep breaths in and out. And just feel the bottom of your spine right over here at the tailbone. Can you feel the lovely stretch and all the fears and worries just melting away? Wow, what a gorgeous bushman you are! Sitting, telling stories around the fire and all giving thanks for your body for being survivors. Well done! The wonderful posture for feeling stable and secure is Warrior 2. Do you remember Warrior 2? So we're standing at the top of our mat. We're going to step our left foot back as far as we can. We're going to make sure the heel of our right foot is in line with the dip in our left foot. We're going to breathe in and raise the arms parallel to the ground. And we're going to breathe out and bend the right knee and come into warrior two. Wow, look at you brave warriors. Feel your feet dug into the earth. Feel the earth supporting you, keeping you safe and protected. What beautiful warriors you are. Deep breaths in and out. Breathe in, straighten the leg and breathe out. Lower your hands to either side of the body. Now we're going to turn the right foot in and we're going to turn the left foot out because we're going to give the left side some love. So we breathe in, raise the arms parallel to the ground. Are you ready to be warriors? And we breathe out, bend the left knee, coming into warrior two. Looking down your fingers, 
being safe and secure, a warrior, a survivor in this great big wide world. Deep breaths in and out. What beautiful warriors you are, well done. Take a deep breath in, straighten the leg, and breathe out, hands down either side of the body. And let's jump our feet together and stand in the mountain. Well done. You look like very, very brave warriors. Do you feel brave, like you can survive anything? Yes. Yes. We're stable and secure. Well done. And our last posture that we're going to do for our base chakra to feel safe and secure, like we can survive anything, is moon salutation. Sun salutation is also very good. It's good for all the chakras, but moon gives us an extra little stretch in the bottom of our spine to help us release even more fears. So let's float the hands into the prayer position. We're standing in mountain posture with the hands in the prayer. We breathe in, raise the arms up towards the heavens and lean back as far as we can. And let's say good day to the beautiful moon. We breathe out, hands down to either side of the feet, take the nose to the knee and the buttocks up to the heavens. We step the right foot out, coming onto the mat in a equestrian posture. We raise the arms up and lean back as far as we can in a beautiful crescent moon, lighting up the earth in the evening. We take the hands down to either side of the foot and slip the left foot out into our favorite downward facing dog. Having a beautiful stretch after a good night's sleep, we lower the knees, chest, chin to the floor together, and we raise up into our friendly striking cobra. Tuck the toes in, move back into downward dog. Feel that beautiful stretch and step the right foot between your hands, coming into a equestrian posture, raising the arms up into a beautiful crescent moon. Feel that lovely stretch in the bottom of your spine. Lower the hands down to either side of the feet and let the left foot meet the right foot at the top of the mat, nose to the knee. We inhale, stretch the arms out and up, being back as far as we can, and we breathe out hands into the prayer. Take a deep breath in and out. Now we're going to do our moon salutation on the outside to give our left side some love and to keep balance in our thoughts and feelings and bodies. So let's breathe in, raise the arms up towards the heavens and lean back just as far as we can. We breathe out, take the hands down to the ground and give gratitude to the beautiful earth for giving us a place to live. We step the leg foot out onto the mat, coming into a question, raising the arms up into a beautiful crescent moon that lights the evening skies. We take the hands back down to either side of the foot, step the right foot out, and come into our downward facing dog. We lower the knees, chest, chin to the floor simultaneously. We raise into our friendly striking cobra. Tucking the toes in and gently coming back into downward dog. We step the left foot between the hands, coming back into a question. Stretching the arms out and up, leaning back into our crescent moon. Hands back down to either side of the foot. Let the right foot meet the left at the top of the mat, nose to the knee. Take a deep breath in. Stretch out and up. Lean back as far as you can. And breathe out hands into the prayer. Well done. How do your thoughts and feelings feel? Happy. Do you feel safe? Yes. Secure? Yes. Survivor? Yes. Wonderful. Now we're going to go into the last two exercises for our thoughts and feelings. Prana. Breathing in long deep breaths 
to take in extra vital energy, extra energy to make our thoughts and feelings happy. And the other thing, vibration feeds our thoughts and feelings. And this time we're going to use singing for vibration to lift our thoughts and feelings to happiness. We're going to sing today our song for the base chakra. And just remember, the colour for the base chakra that makes it happy, the vibration, the energy, the life in it is red. Well done, Alberto. It's red. And so we eat all the foods and fruits in red. The colour of the fruits and food feeds our energy body, our thoughts and feelings. That's right. And also wearing the colour red the vibration of the colour feeds our thoughts and feelings and makes us feel like survivors, stable and safe in the world. So let's sing our song for the bass chakra. <laughs>
Take another deep breath in, feel your tummy rising all the way up towards the heavens. And as you breathe out, feel it dropping all the way down. And let's take one more deep breath in, feel your tummy filling up like a huge big balloon, moving up towards the skies, and breathing out, feel it dropping all the way down. And now, feel your ribs on the side of your body, where it protects your heart. And just breathe in, and just feel your ribs opening up, like angels' wings, and breathe out, feeling them going inward. Deep breath in, feel your ribs opening up like angels' wings, and breathing out. And one more time, deep breath in, feel your ribs opening all the way up, and breathing out. Well done. And now feel your chest. As you breathe in, feel your chest rising up towards the sky. And as you breathe out, feel it lowering down towards the ground. Take another deep breath in, feel your chest rising up towards the sky. And as you breathe out, feel it coming down towards the ground. And one more time, deep breath in. And breathe out. Well done. You can put your hands on the side of your body and lie on your back for our story time. Today our Yoga Nidra is about visiting our guardian angel. So hello my precious souls and welcome to the Enlightened Super Souls Recharging and Strengthening Story Time to create happy emotions and strong minds for our goal of this team to bring peace and love to the world. So let's give our thoughts and feelings their little treat. Lying on your back, legs slightly apart. Let your feet flop to the sides. Your arms a little way from your body with your hands turned upward. And just snuggle and settle into your mat. Remember the food for your thoughts and feelings is energy, which we get through long, deep breaths. So take a deep breath in through your nose, and as you do, imagine a beautiful white light moving into the top of your head. See it moving all the way down to your body, to the tips of the toes, cleansing and purifying your body, and filling it with love. And as you breathe out, feel the white light leaving your body through the bottom of your feet, carrying out all the cares and worries of the day. Take another deep breath in, see the white light coming into the top of your head. Feel yourself being filled with so much love and breathe out all the cares and worries of the day. Take one more deep breath in, seeing the light coming into the top of your head, filling you with love. And as you breathe out, feel all the cares and worries leaving the bottom of your feet. Feel yourself so full with love and peace. And now we're going to carry on with long deep breathing through the nose, but this time you're going to feel your tummy rising as you breathe in and falling as you breathe out. At the same time, we're going to count the breaths backwards from five to one. Are you ready to count, feeling your tummy as it rises and falls while we count? Here we go. Breathe in five. Breathe out five. Breathe in four, breathe out four, breathe in three, breathe out three, breathe in two, breathe out two, breathe in one, and breathe out one. Well done, you were very good at that. And now, breathe naturally and feel your whole body so relaxed and filled with love. And take a moment to sing a blessing to any children that may not be able to walk or play. Thank you, that was kind of you. One of the good fruits for your thoughts and feelings is thankfulness. Remember, the more you give and feel thanks, the more the magnet in your aura attracts into your life things for which to be thankful for. 
So let's take a moment and give thanks to our body for all that they do for us all day long. Without moving, but with your mind, feel your feet and say to yourself, thank you feet, thank you for carrying me all day long. Do you feel them tingle? That is them saying thank you for relaxing them. Now feel your ankles and say, thank you ankles, thank you for your kindness and support. Feel your legs and say, thank you legs for helping me to run and play. Moving up your body from your hips to your shoulders, feel your tummy and your back and say thank you to them for all that they do for you. Feel your shoulders and say, thank you shoulders for making me strong. Feel and say, thank you arms, hands, fingers and thumbs for helping me to carry things and allowing me to draw and paint beautiful pictures of nature. Feel your neck and throat and say, thank you neck and throat for allowing me to speak sweet words. Feel your head and say, thank you head for helping me to focus on all the beauties in life that feeds my feelings with joy and peace. Feel your jaw and say, Thank you, Jaw, for helping me to enjoy all the delicious food for my visible body. Feel your lips and say, Thank you, lips, for helping me to speak words of kindness. Feel your nose and say, Thank you, nose, for giving me precious breath, for allowing me to take deep breaths that calms and feeds my thoughts and feelings too. And now feel your ears and say, Thank you, ears, for helping me to hear all the beautiful sounds of nature and beautiful words spoken to me. Feel your eyes and say, thank you eyes for helping me to see the good in others and in the world. Feel your forehead and say, thank you forehead for all the loving thoughts I have. And now, feel your whole body together. Send it so much love, a huge big hug, and one last big thank you for all that it does for you all day long. Feel how happy and relaxed your body feels. Feel how filled with love. Another good food for your thoughts and feelings is nature. So now is the time for your little treat. This is like a dream. You are safe and you can do whatever you want to. Remember to use your imagination and now imagine you're walking in a beautiful forest on a warm autumn's day. As you walk, you feel one with the earth with each and every step you take. You feel a gentle breeze blowing across your cheek. And as it does, you feel yourself hugged by the miracle of nature around you. You watch leaves floating down from the trees in their autumn colours of yellow, orange and burgundy, gently kissing down onto the ground. This tells you winter is on the way. You hear twigs snapping under your feet and you see the tall trees surrounding you. You feel bathed in the natural healing powers of the trees. You smell all the leaves in the forest and you listen to them as they rustle in the trees. You continue to explore this lovely place. Come to an opening between the trees, and there in the centre, surrounded by trees, is the head angel of the enlightened super sales, Angel Tess. Her arms are outstretched, and she's waiting for you. You walk right into her loving arms, and she hugs you deeply. You feel her power and strength, and it seeps into your aura. You feel completely safe and secure, so protected. <coughs> she places her hands on your shoulders and lovingly looks you in the eyes. You feel a wave of warmth coming into your aura from the shine in her eyes. She tells you that she wants you to know she loves you very, very much <coughs> and that she's always with you by your side <coughs> in the invisible world, even though you cannot see her. She tells you that she has always been. Her duty is to protect and watch over you as one of the enlightened super souls. 
and she wants you to know she loves you with so much love and there's absolutely nothing you have ever done or could do that could take her love away from you. She also wants you to know how grateful and honoured she feels to have been chosen to be your guardian and she will always be. She tells you that she is not allowed to interfere in your life because you have come into the world with free will, able to choose. But what she does want you to know is a special secret, and that is the only time she is allowed to step in and help is if you give her permission. So she says that if or when there are times that you feel that what you are dealing with in life is just too painful or too much to cope with all on your own anymore. All you need to do is simply bring yourself back to the secret place and meet with her. Give her permission and ask her to step in on a divine level and take over and fix the situation. She then asks you if there's anything right now that you are dealing with. Anything that seems too great or too much for you. Anything that makes you feel a little sad. Angel Tess is the only one that knows exactly how you feel. And she will never judge you for being angry with you. She has the greatest heart. So simply open your heart and tell Angel Tess. Speak in your mind to her telling her if there is anything that is worrying you right now. Speak with an open heart and with honesty, and let your words simply flow. In your mind, you can tell Angel Tess right now. But you can come back to this meeting place at any time. Angel Tess wraps her arms around you. She hugs you deeply, and you feel the pure love, compassion, and understanding. In your ear, Thank you from the bottom of my heart for trusting and believing in me and for giving me the permission to help you in what you need helping with. It is done. I will, I will help you on a divine level. Suddenly you have a firm belief and trust that all your cares have been taken care of by Angel Tess. She reminds you that you can come back to this place at any time when you have any sadness, any problems. You thank her. Suddenly you have a warm feeling in your heart, a feeling of relief, of release from your worries and cares. You feel lightness in your heart, freedom and joy flooding through your heart. Angel Tess grants you a wish. You can make this three times right now. She then encloses you in a golden bubble of protection, making you safe and secure in this big wide world. So now bring your awareness back to the feeling of your body. Take a deep breath in and out. Slowly begin to move your fingers and toes. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Stretch your hands and feet. Stretch your arms and legs. Take your arms above your head and give your body a wonderful stretch right from the tips of the fingers to your pointed toes. Wrap your arms around your body and give yourself a beautiful hug for the wonderful person that you are. Roll up to your right hand side and slowly come sitting up. So let's bring our hands to the head for kind and loving thoughts. Hands to the mouth for kind and loving words. Hands to our heart for kind and loving feelings. Namaste. Thank you my enlightened super souls and children of unity, that was wonderful. And thank you for sharing with all the children in the world. This week our homework is to walk bare feet in nature. That makes us feel grounded, like we belong in the world. So take little walks on the grass in nature barefoot. 
You can also wear the colour red. You've all got the colour red because you've all got in licensed super soul t-shirts, haven't you? Yes. And also to eat food, fruits and food in red. You can also do sun salutation. And what you can do is sing all the songs for the, for the base chakra to feel stable, secure. And you can even teach somebody. If you see they're a little scared or they feel a little bit insecure or unsafe, you just have to sing the song with them and show them the actions and that'll make them feel like a survivor. So have a beautiful week. Send lots of love to all the people. Say bye, lots of love. Bye. 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 Lots of love. Bye. Sending love and hugs. Bye. bye. Namaste and welcome to our third lesson of Children's Yoga and Yoga Nidra's Teachers Training and to all the people that have registered for the teachers training with Global Peace Let's Talk and anyone that may be listening to learn techniques to help their children to have happy thoughts and feelings. Last week we said that most of our problems start off in the mental body. We have a thought and if that thought is of tension, it creates an impact on our emotional body, giving us a feeling. Now that feeling sits somewhere in the physical body and has an impact on the physical parts of the body and if there isn't free flow of energy through the body or the, the energy body or the physical body, the, the physical body can become ill. So we're going to take a trip through all of our chakras and over the next seven weeks and we're going to do one a week and just become aware of how they work together. We're going to learn that the chakras not only work for our energy body, but for our physical body also. It has to do with specific parts of the body, it has to do with specific emotions, and it has to do with specific areas in our, our life. And if we can use um, the asanas, specific asanas, we'll be able to stretch out tension in the physical part of the body. And if we're using planar, which is vital energy through long deep breathing. And also if we're using our imagination in the yoga nidras, seeing pictures, colors, and everything with vibration that raises our vibrations, we can live in contentment in the world regardless of what's going on around us. So we're going to start off with the chakras. And the first chakra that we're going to work with is the base chakra. I always show children this little picture so that they can see the area where the chakras are in the physical body. The base chakra is at the bottom of the spine and the color is red. The vibration of the color is what balances and, um, and gives food to the base chakra. So wearing the color red or eating food and fruits in the color red, it's not the food and fruit, but the color, the vibration of the color that actually feeds the energy body. There's lots of other things that we can use too. So if we have a look in our teacher's training manual that I have uploaded to your um, to my Google Drive for you to see, and you turn to the section on the chakras, we start off with the first chakra, and that is the base chakra. In Sanskrit, it is Muladhara. And it's situated at the bottom of the spine. In the physical body, it relates to our adrenal glands, our large intestines, our legs, feet, and bones. If there's a medical condition in this area, it could be that we're holding a feeling, an emotion of tension in that part of the body, in the base chakra. And the area that it relates to in our life is survival, stability, and grounding. Grounding is if we feel connected to the earth, safe and secure as we're part of earth, Okay, and survival and, um, and stability relates to our emotions that we're holding around those issues. If we're afraid of survival, if we're afraid or we feel unstable, it could mean that there is a blockage in the center in that base chakra. And the physical parts of the body it's going to impact on would be the adrenal glands, the large intestine, the feet, the legs, and the bones. Now, the imbalanced feelings that come along with it, if we're holding worries about those areas in our life, would be feelings of insecurity, self-centeredness, instability, self-indulgence, grief, and depression. 
and they relate it to the physical body and show up as illnesses of obesity, of um, hemorrhoids, constipation, arthritis, sciatica, anemia, prostate problems, all those kind of things. So we want to be able to work with the, those emotions and feed them the energy that they need, the prana, and also the vibration that they need. How can we fee feed them? Well, first of all, we would start with asana, the postures, doing specific postures to stretch that area to release tension in it. The next thing we would feed it with is this energy food, which would be breath work, extended long deep breathing to calm those thoughts and feelings. Other things is vibration, which would be color, and the color related to the base chakra is red. So you would wear the color red, as I said, or you could have it in your surroundings, in curtains or decor or anything like that. What you could also do is eat the food, food and fruits of the color red. It's not the food and fruits that feed the, the energy body, but the vibration of the color. What you can also do is use things like crystal. We said last week that some things have higher vibrations than others, and things like crystals, musical notes, singing, um, all those kind of things which create vibration actually helps to lift those, those emotions. So you would be able to also get a crystal. Um, if you went into a crystal shop, they'd show you the crystal for the base chakra. It's in the color red. And the vibration of that crystal actually balances and feeds that, that emotion. So you could take the crystal and pop it into a, bot a bottle of water. The vibration of the color and the crystal will go into the water and you drink the vibration in. Another thing that you could do is use a red bottle and fill it with water, put it in the sunlight. The sunlight will reflect the vibration into the water and again you can drink that color in. So there's lots of things that we can use. The sound that is very good for balancing that ch uh, chakra is the mantra LAM. It's the vibration of the LAM that actually creates it. So you can just chant that word over and over again. The musical note that makes that chakra balanced is the note C. So any songs in the note C would also help with that chakra. So some of the questions that you can ask yourself to see if there is balance or no balance in that chakra is, do you have survival worries? Do you feel stable and secure in the world? Do you feel connected to the planet or alienated? Have you had any physical body issues such as major illnesses, surgeries or being abused? Do you have a strong immune system? Are, your ideal, are you your ideal weight for your height? Do you neglect your personal space or body? Do you have energy? Can you remain present in the moment while performing daily routines? Can you remain focused in one point of awareness or are you anxious? Do you have phobias above the norm? Do you resist change? So these kind of questions would let us know if there's a possibility of holding uh, feelings of worry about survival, stability and insecurity in the base chakra and through the class we're going to use all the techniques of stretch, we're going to use yoga nidra to feed the, uh, to feed the energy body through the imagination, seeing the colors, seeing the pictures which creates a feeling and it's that feeling that's going to feed the energy body. So let's go into our class.